Hello and welcome to RME TV and as you can see right in front of you we have the HTC One X and as you can probably tell by the title of this video we're going to be looking at Android 4.2.2 and HTC Sense 5.0 recently released for unbranded unlocked sim free phones here in the UK of course it may depend in what region you are as to when you would get it but also if you've got a locked phone or you're in a contract with a particular network you won't be getting this update uh, anytime soon uh, but you may be getting it by the end of the year possibly at the beginning of the next year again depends on your networks so this is only for the people that have unlocked phones uh, unbranded ones uh, network free phones so Android 4.2.2 brings new features to the HTC One X and Sense 5.0 also brings some new features. So let's take a look at them. Now, first thing you notice is the difference in the lock screen. So when you turn your phone on, as you can see, you have now the clock at the bottom there, weather data, if it would be available, if you're connected to any internet, your location, the date, and of course your quick settings. You've got this little uh, padlock there that you can use to unlock but you don't have to do that as well you can just swipe up anywhere on the screen to unlock your phone now something you'll notice here is the HTC weather and clock widget a lot different from previous editions you can see it's got uh, no color to it as uh, the other editions had before you can still get that in the widget section but this is the one you will get once you update your phone you'll also notice that the notifications panel has changed as you can see at the top here i have a battery indicator just bring that up close to you you can see it now says 23 percent now you won't have this available to you once you update your phone so if you updated your phone and looking for that feature or you're going to update your phone and you're like hey it doesn't tell me what percentage i've got on my battery you have to manually select that in the settings what you have to do is go to settings uh, power and then it says display battery percentage you tick that box and then you get that feature available new to uh, sense 5.0 there which is really good that means you don't have to use any third party battery indicating widgets or applications to tell you how much uh, battery percentage you have now is built into HTC sense 5.0 and you can free up a lot of space by getting rid of those apps so that's a great little feature but it doesn't come on the phone straight away you have to enable it in the settings in the update so that's a cool you know, new feature in the notifications panel that's not the only thing that's changed a lot of people will tell you that the HTC phones don't have quick settings you know you have to install these widgets or the power widget bar which you can select Wi-Fi you know mobile data airplane mode profile that kind of stuff had to be accessed through widgets well you don't actually really need those widgets anymore because much like the samsung galaxy s4 the google nexus phones they all have quick settings once you pull down the notifications and that's exactly what you get with the htc one x now with the android 4.2.2 update is you get quick settings you can see gone is the power saver setting i always news to take up screen uh, notification screen area which is kind of annoying um, uh, you now also get expanding notifications so if you get an email or text message or something like that a message on whatsapp facebook you can expand the message and actually read it in the notification without actually have, have, having to go to the app and open it up which is pretty cool and self in the corner here we have the quick settings tab which is great uh, as I said before, you needed those widgets to access those quick settings and now you just pull down the notifications panel, hit that quick settings button and you get all these settings that are on your phone. So you get brightness, uh, your main settings area, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplane mode, uh, power saver, auto rotation, mobile data, sound profile, creating a Wi-Fi hotspot and of course the screenshot button which is cool as well so if you want to take a screenshot you can just hit that button instead of having to hold down the power and home key to get the notifications or oh, sorry the screenshots 
so that's that if you go into the main settings area of the phone you can see the icons have changed with HTC's update so you've got a different style to the icons they look different that's again similar with their widgets and so on as well you've got all new wallpapers and personalization and a lot of little tweaks here and then just to show you that we are running the latest uh, wrong one sorry that's if you want to check how to uh, get the update if you haven't got it so far let's go to software updates check now and using data and uh, you should get the update and then use the Wi-Fi to download it it doesn't take that long but we need to go into software information to check what version of Android we have and I'll just zoom in there for you you can see there Android 4.2.2 with Sense 5.0. So zoom out there, running the latest version of the official Android. And not quite the latest version, so I'm sure some of you would know, Android 4.3 available on the Nexus phones, the Google Nexus phone, the Samsung Nexus phone, and the HTC One Nexus phones that are running the pure vanilla Android, if you will. So not the latest greatest, but it is the latest closest version to Android that's been released for the HTC One X, which is good to see HTC support a uh, previous device. You know, they've got the new HTC One flagship device, and much like Samsung, who also update their older phones with the latest version of Android as quickly as possible, HTC have joined in as well, making sure the HTC One X gets that update as well. Now, along with this update is you don't get some of the features that the HTC One has. Uh, for instance, you don't get HTC Zoe, but you do get some of the features for it. I'll show you in a second in the gallery application what I mean by that. And uh, you get HTC Blink Feed. You do get Blink Feed, but it's not enabled. So you have to go into settings and to enable that. If you want to know how to enable Blink Feed, uh, and make that your home page. Uh, there's a link in the description below, and I'll be in a separate video on how to get Blink Feed activated. But you pretty much have your stock home screen panels there on your screen. And uh, if you want to enable Blink Feed, it's in the settings, and I'll show you how to get that. But going back to not having something like HTC Zoe, so what I mean by that is you can't actually edit. Uh, the little videos are created by Zoe, but you do get the feature. So it is in this update and it isn't at the same time. So if we go into the gallery application and as you can see, uh, I've taken a few pictures of a few things here and at the top, it's playing a little video um, and it's added an effect to it. It's automatically added effect to it. It's automatically picked some music for it and it plays it but you can't edit it like the HTC One the latest phone from HTC you can't edit it you can't put your own skins on it uh, your own music all that kind of stuff um, what it does here is it takes all your pictures in an event or an album and places a video at the top and uh, just turn the volume up for you yeah so not that volume So you can see it's put an effect on it. It's playing with music. Um, different albums, different events have different eff effects and uh, sound to it. And it really looks good. You know, I've taken some pictures with showing with family and friends and it really does come out good. You know, it really does pick the best pictures, the best moments, syncs it with the best music uh, <laughs> that this available. Uh, quite well and which is quite remarkable as you can see there it says filmed with HTC Zoe the time and the date uh, but you can't edit the theme you can't edit the music as you can on HTC one so you're not getting the full Zoe and like it's not in the camera so w when you activate the camera as I'll do here when you activate the camera you don't have the HTC Zoe button there as you would on the HTC one X which is a bit of a disappointment. But then again, this isn't the, their flagship phone anymore. So why would they update, uh, put that feature in this update when it's not the latest phone? It makes sense, 
because they want people to go to HTC One upgrade to get that feature and this kind of is a little teaser they've given it to you but they haven't given it to you so you could be tempted to upgrade to the HTC One but I think it's a great feature to be honest you know it really does give you some great moments look back quickly at photos and albums uh, great little video there now taking a look at the camera they have made changes as well in the update uh, you still got your flash button so if you want to put on the light for the camera it's there auto rotation uh, is gone so not auto rotation uh, camera switching button has gone so if you want to switch to a front facing camera or the back facing camera there needs to be a button here before on the update now it's gone so how you get that is basically by pressing the settings button and it's there at the top so there's one more step to go to get to the um, one more step to go to get to the front facing camera if you want to switch um, but you know it's a shame they got rid of that you still got all your effects you can add they've added a little new logo to that all here slightly more I think than before I'm not quite sure if there's more effects on the camera but as you can see it's got a minimalistic look to it as before we used to have quite a few icons on the left hand side of the camera so it's a good improvement there on the camera um, other features that they've improved and is removing some applications that you may or may not want to use there needs to be an application called HTC mirror uh, basically that was an application that would give you quick access to a front facing camera if you want to check your face you know basically a mirror on your phone using the front facing camera uh, which kind of was an unnecessary app because if you wanted to do that you could just hit the camera button and switch to the front facing camera quite easily but they've got rid of that which is great because you know you know how many people probably use that application I don't know I certainly didn't uh, I'm sure pretty most of you didn't because if you wanted to you could uh, they've probably got rid of a few apps as other as well similar to that uh, I'm not quite sure I think they may have got rid of the HTC video app um, where you could access the HTC stuff and the HTC store as well um, I can't see it in the app drawer anywhere so I'm guessing they did get rid of that application as well which is great you know, if they're getting rid of applications that people ain't using on the phone it's only just blow where free up some memory so people can use it as you can see that the app drawer has changed as well so no more is it side to side scrolling it's all uh, up and down scrolling uh, you've got your clock there at the top and if you pull down slightly you can choose whether you want it alphabetical most recent app showing or custom you can search applications so instead of going through it you can just type in uh, the letters and it will show you if I can spell properly applications that match the letters and you can just quickly go there which is pretty good and not only do they have the search feature you can go straight to the play store if you want to you can also change how this look looks as you can see i've got a four by four grid on my screen at the moment uh, when you update that's not what you get you actually get a different size you get three by four you get that so if you want to change that you all you have to do is pull down settings grid size and go to 4x5 sorry Just go to 4x5 and then you get the more normal looking uh, more applications on the notifications panel another thing that's changed is multitasking the multitasking screen Solache has changed I actually prefer this new multitasking application if you hit the multitasking button as you can see you have like a grid of about nine different windows that show you your apps open all at once it's better than having the angled one app uh, showing a two on either side and swiping up to get rid of them all now you can just swipe up on each app that you want 
and it's pretty good and it's pretty cool as well uh, I think it's a lot better than the previous one the other one was a lot buggier this multitasking screen seems to be a lot better um, you still may have problems when you go into applications uh, where they refresh and you're not quite left on the page that you were before but I found that with more apps it's actually working more properly than what you would expect anyway so that's a great addition to the HTC One X is the improvement in the multitasking screen. Now I can remember all the updates, there are a hell of a lot of updates that have happened to this HTC One X and I've had a few days, probably about a week or two, two weeks probably, I've had two weeks with this phone and I'm finding new little things here and there and uh, I think it's a great thing to liven up your phone. One thing I did notice, I don't know if it's applicable to all HTC One Xs or if it was just my phone, there was a little glitch with it or something. I used to get an error before where my back screen used to go and disappear, turn to black. I used to use a few widgets, couldn't access the notification bar after accessing uh, some apps in the multi screen. With this update, that feature, though that problem, sorry, is not a feature, that issue has gone. So if you had that issue, you're gonna, you know, lose it with this update, which is great. Uh, but I came across another update, um, which was every time I would restart my phone or turn it on and off, um, some apps disappeared from my home screens. Now this was quite annoying, but also quite puzzling. And I would have to re-put them on there just so I can quickly access them, only for them to go away once I had turned my phone off and turned it on again, uh, which was quite annoying. And couldn't figure out what it was. I figured out that the apps that were disappearing weren't on the phone storage. So if you have that problem after the update, uh, I'm not saying you will, this might just be applicable to this particular phone. Um, but if you do have that problem, all you need to do is go into settings, you need to go to apps, manage your applications, and you click on the apps that you're seeing that are disappearing uh, from your home screens, and you need to move it back to the phone storage. So once you do, as I just show you, you go to settings, and you need to go to apps, and you need to click on whatever app it is scroll down and you see this button here that says move just zoom in there see that button there that says move it will be highlighted so you can press it you press that and move it back to the phone storage that way you will have that issue for some reason um, if it's on the internal storage or phone storage, it seems to make a difference. So you need to just hit that button and those apps won't disappear anymore. And that was a little advice for any bugs you may encounter. Bugs you may encounter. Now, hopefully I've covered everything that I can remember that's happened in the HTC One X. In fact, I've got a screenshot that you should be seeing on your screens right about now. And that shows you exactly the message you get for the update, but also what the update has. So the update brings, of course, HTC Sense 4.2.2, it gets Sense 5, you get HTC Blink Feed, which of course is available under settings. If you want to see how you can do that, click on the video in the link below. Uh, it's got a new lock screen style, uh, power show battery level, add sleep mode options, and power setting notifications, quick settings panel, your gallery camera uh, features added. Uh, uh, video highlights which is that Zoe feature which creates 30 seconds videos in 12 different themes and using Zoe but you don't have the full Zoe feature you've got music updates with the visualization with live lyrics and that's about it in terms of the total update that you get with this phone so that is the HTC One X with the official Android 4.2.2 and Sense 5.0 update. If you want to know how to get the update, it's down in the description below. All you have to do, of course, go to settings, about phone, and check now for software updates, and you should be getting this phone. This, of course, is a UK unbranded 
sim free phone and of course this is only for the unbranded phone so remember if you've got a network phone you might not be getting this update now you might be getting it later it all depends it's kind of murky business and uh, basically it's up to the individual networks to decide if they're going to do the update and when they're going to do the update and uh, if you're in a different region with an unbranded phone, you may getting that date at a different time. Of course, it depends on your region. The best people to contact will be HTC on that. For now, that's all. Of course, if you want to see how to get Blink Feed, click on the video below. And of course, hit that subscribe button. We've got tons more videos here on RME TV. And also hit the like button. It really does help guys here on RME Online, on RME TV. It's goodbye and we'll see you next time.